This video is covering alerts, but more specifically, we want to show you the new sounds that have come to our alerts feature, and also how you can use these sounds both for your intensive research, the hard work you're doing, but also to have some fun and to bring some joy to markets. So as you can see here, we have added a library of new sounds for you to access and to layer on top of all of your research and all of your alerts. Now these sounds are broken down into specific categories. If you want to access nature sounds, you guessed it, click nature. You've got all of these options here. Let's go ahead and click whale and listen. Let's go ahead and click cat. Let's close this nature menu and head to the classic sound menu that you're familiar with. How about handbell? Three notes reverb. And also, of course, we can go to voices as well. Attention. Hey. Look at me. Oh. So you can see here we've really gotten a whole new library of sounds. Now, at first glance, you're probably saying that's awesome because now I can send myself specific alerts with specific sounds. And thus over time, you'll start to really notice the different alerts matching with specific sounds. So you can create a highly organized process based on your research. But also don't forget, Markets don't always have to be serious. They don't always have to be stressful. You can really have some fun. And if you're in front of your computer for most of the day, this is a pretty youthful and exciting way to add some color to all of your research. And also if you run a group chat or if you create alerts that utilize webhooks or if you have a chat server, well, you can also layer in the sounds when you record videos or share alerts. It's just a really nice way to add something entirely new to your whole process. And also keep in mind, it really does also depend on what you want to accomplish. So now that we've given you this welcome introduction to this new feature, let us take a step back here and spend a few minutes reminding you of the different ways to create alerts and how to utilize these new sounds. First of all, as you can see here, we're looking at a chart of Meta, formerly known as Facebook. What we want to do in this first example, and keep in mind these videos are always for educational and informational purposes, is we want to create an alert when Meta hits an all-time high. So what we're going to do here is first zoom out, so each candle represents a month. And what's rather interesting is Meta is currently trading near its all-time highs. But if we hover our mouse over this candle, we can see the exact all-time high is $602.95. So let's go ahead and hover our mouse right around that level and right click. Let's go to add an alert on Meta at 602. But what we're really going to do is type in 602.95. Now what we're going to do is crossing up and the value is 602.95. This alert is only going to trigger once, not every single time. So let's click once. It's going to be an open-ended alert, meaning we don't want an expiration date. But hey, if you're looking to place a trade in only in the next few days or weeks, you could essentially set an expiration date, meaning it'll expire after the date you select. Let's keep this open-ended. Now the alert name is just going to be called Meta at All Time Highs. And this message is essentially Meta just hit an all-time high. Trade it. So what's going to happen now is very clear just to review. We've got Meta selected, the chart we're looking at. It's a price alert, meaning it is being uh, essentially triggered based on the price of Meta. It has to cross up, but you've got all of these other options available to you. It has to cross up above the value of $602.95, and it's a one-time one -time alert. It's not going to trigger every single time, and it's open-ended, meaning we're going to wait for this to trigger once if Meta ever hits a new all-time highs. Now, we're going to click notifications because here is where we can enter into the new world of sounds and the new library of sounds that we've added 
to our alerts. Now, as you can see here, we've got all of our options selected. We're going to get notified in our app when this alert triggers. We're going to get a toast notification shown right on our computer when this triggers. We're even going to get an email notification when this triggers. Now, as we mentioned earlier, if we ran a server, a chat, a website, an app, and we wanted to send these alerts to those specific assets as well, we could check this webhook URL, and that is where we can really get started with that process. Now, if you're curious about webhooks, you can read all about them in our help center. The full walkthrough is right here. This is how you can get started with webhooks. Be sure, as you just saw what we did here, that you click this little question mark icon, this tool tip to get the full explanation. Now, here's where you probably want to play your sound. In this way, you can get an audio cue when your alert triggers. Once you're ready to select the specific sound for this alert, go ahead and click the drop down and then pick the category that you're interested in. Now we're just going to collapse this classic menu, but we've got classic, soft, nature, voices, and funny. Now this is an all time high alert. Perhaps what we want to do is create a process where every time one of our all time high alerts triggers, we get a specific sound. Let's go to nature and why don't we select whale? The point of whale here is that if it hit an all-time high, well, that is a big move. That could mean big money. Someone is backing this or a group of investors or there's a constant flow of money coming in. So let's go ahead and select whale. And by the way, if you want to listen to that sound one more time, you can test it by clicking the play button. selected it's going to essentially play that sound once but what's really great is you can choose to have that alert noise play on a sort of set schedule five seconds 10 seconds 30 seconds every minute for now let's just do once and let's click create now we're just going to wait for a second here and you can see our alert is added right here you know that because on this arrow here, if we hover our mouse over 602.95, we can see it says meta at all time highs. In addition, don't forget that you have your alerts center or alerts command center right here next to the alerts icon. If we click, well, now you're going to see all of the alerts that you have ever created. And you can click log to see all of the alerts that are triggering. And the best part about this alerts center is you can cl click the plus button to create alerts directly from this center. You can search for specific alerts. So we're going to type in meta and it looks like this is our first alert ever about meta. You can even filter all of your alerts by some really important and powerful combinations such as alphabetical order of the ticker name, the name of the company, the message, the date you created it, or whether it's triggered or not. Then, of course, you've got your three dots here. That's going to also allow you to customize this alert center even further. You can remove all the inactive alerts. You can choose what you want to see. So it's rather interesting. If you look here, we've got a, a lot of alerts here, but some of them are inactive. So why don't we only show us inactive? If we do that, well, it's only going to show us the meta alert that we just created, as well as another alert that's still waiting to be triggered. It's never been triggered before. It's active. It's waiting. So this is the process to creating an alert and accessing all of the new sounds that we have to offer. Now, we did just create an alert for meta at all time highs, and we utilized the whale to really illustrate that that is an all time high event. For all future all time highs, we could use that sound as well. Now, but here's a interesting way to think about this. Well, let's go to a chart of NVIDIA and let's go into a one minute chart. And in this case, maybe we're just waiting for a big move on a one minute chart. We're not going to trade it. We're chatting with our friends. You, are, you know, we're asking them, are you watching this move? This is like just shocking to see what's happening. Well, in that case, it's not an alert. We're going to take it seriously. Let's just quickly take a look here at this level. Let's just see, is it going to hold here this uh, prior sort of uh, zone that it bounced off of? You can see that NVIDIA dropped here and it sort of bounced around, bounced around before taking off on this one minute chart. And let's create an alert right here on this line. So we, we drew this trend line. And what we can do now is effectively right click on the trend line and create an alert directly on this trend line. Now, a lot of our YouTube videos dive deeply into this process already. Be sure to go watch them, but we're going to click add alert on trend line. Let's do crossing down. 
only once. And let's just call this one, you know, for fun with friends. Just showing you an example here. What sound should we play? Now let's go to notifications. Here's our sounds. Well, in this case, as mentioned, we're doing this one a little more lighthearted. It's on a one minute chart. And if it breaks down, let's see what we got here. That's perfect. I think that we have to do either chimes power down or dramatic one note. Let's do dramatic one note and let's click create. And here's our alert. We know it's triggered because we have got the alarm clock right here. And if NVIDIA breaks this line at any point while we're watching it, we're going to get a dramatic note, which you can imagine if you're charting, if you're chatting with friends, if you're watching this, that can be quite humorous. And the best part is the sound is so distinct that you essentially are going to recognize it instantly. And now you know that you're creating this process. The whale sound we made earlier was from all time highs. That dramatic piano key is now for this level breaking down. So that is the video we wanted to create all about the new library of sounds that have come to alerts. And there's much more on the way. Thanks for watching. And please remember to check out our help center for all of the articles and videos that we have about alerts and our YouTube channel, which now has over 225,000 subscribers. We're well on our way to over 250,000 subscribers. Be sure to subscribe write comments, and we will respond. And of course, we listen to your feedback, so we may build a tool with your feedback in mind. Thanks for watching.